One Valley father speaking out about the dangers of street racing today. He says his son lost his life because of careless actions. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez spoke to the father and to law enforcement about the dangers of street racing. We first told you about Marcelo Flores back in January of 2016. The 20 year old was killed after the car he was a passenger in crashed while racing. Now the driver of the car, Ciro Manuel Trevino, will spend six years behind bars for the deadly street race. Abel Flores' life was changed forever after he lost his son in an accident involving a street race. I, I, I lost him. <laughs> now the grieving father wants others to learn from the accident that took his son's life. If you want to race, go to the racetrack. Not not on the street. Flores says the racing that goes on in the streets needs to be stopped before another tragedy occurs. I don't want nobody to do this because this not only can kill themselves, they can kill somebody else and it can cause a lot of family problems like the, the one that I am right now. It was at this intersection on the corner of 10th Street and Sprague and McAllen where the father of three lost one of his twin sons. We wanted to find out what law enforcement can do to prevent an accident like this from happening again. A lot of the times what we do is we count on the citizens to actually contact us and let us know. We have several vehicles that are racing up and down this roadway. We want you guys to look into it. Officer Eric Hernandez says it's up to the citizens to help shut down these speeders. There's also social media that'll let you know uh, there's so-and-so racing going on in so-and-so areas. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set up something, some type of sting in that area to basically combat it. He says street racing is harder to combat on the freeway. The act may seem fun at the time, but a lot of dangers like we saw in Flores' case exist with it. You have the possibility of actually injuring somebody or even killing them. So think of the consequences prior to you doing it. It's those possibilities that were made a reality for the Flores family. I mean, nothing is going to bring back my son. So. I leave it up to God. For now, Flores will continue to advocate for illegal street racing to stop altogether. Hernanda says the punishment for illegal street racing varies on the court. The first occurrence is a Class B misdemeanor punishable up to a $2,000 fine and 180 days in jail. In the studio, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 4.